G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I've now got me Baird style televisor, mechanical TV set up and cranking. Um, I'm actually starting to see some kind of patterning scanning across the, across the uh, light box area. So, it looks like I'm coming to near success with this, which is excellent. As I've put a bank of six lights in, uh, the picture's a lot dimmer. Although I think I'll actually adjust the light bank, if I can see. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, that's a lot better. Now we can really see something. Still having six, a bank of six lights kind of, you know, is a bit dimmer with that circuit than a bank of four or two. Anyhow, we're starting to see some patterning he happening here, which is excellent. Which, which is um, scrambled up signal of the of my um, test pattern, which consists of a white circle and a white square. But anyways, um, we are starting to see something, which is excellent. But the uh, disk scanning, scanning speed is a bit slow. The motor needs to be stepped up in speed. I'm going to adjust the um, input voltage up, see if that will make a difference. Now, I'm using my torch as a light source to find everything. The... Um, Voltage adjuster is right here. Let's see what we get. Ramp it up. Starting to come up a bit more like a picture. But still not enough speed. I think maybe perhaps I might need to put a more powerful motor on. I don't know if this how what the speed capability of this motor is, but I think maybe this is probably the fastest I'm going to get it. Unless I modify the circuit. But nevertheless, we're starting to see a raster happening. And that dip in the top, that's because um, the, the um, silver cellophane's kind of dipped down a bit, so I'm going to get a rather funky looking picture. But nevertheless, we have a near working televisor, bed style. Whilst it's not quite working, it's not bad for my first attempt. I've basically based this off a, um, you know, cheap, quick, slap together televisor um, setup, which, yeah, um, it's featured on some website. I'll, when I edit this video, I'll put the website and address below. But basically, yes, a do it yourself bare televisor using using um, easy to get components that you'd likely have in your shed if you're an electronics person like myself. And yeah, we are starting to see something happening here, which is a good thing. So if I can do some more motor adjustments. Hello.
Yes, I'm going to have to do a lot of tweaking, but anyhow, I'm making progress, which is a good thing. Actually, yeah, I am starting to see stuff from now. It seems to be coming up in multiple images. Ah, now we're starting to see our picture, but it looks to be double imaged. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's starting to show, which is a good thing. We're seeing two lots of um, square and circle. How about that? Very, very cool. So I'd probably just work off the center image, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah. Let's get up and close and personal. Oh, it's a bit blurry there, but... Yeah, I'll have to continuously adjust the um, motor synchronization to, to keep the image remotely stable. But yeah, well, it looks like we're getting like multiple images, but all the same, it, it is working to a certain extent. And I'm actually seeing pictures, so that's a good thing. Anyhow, I'm going to be playing around this a lot more and see if I can get this working better and I will keep you updated with my progress. This is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts channel signing out.